this is my first video on a playlist I'm going to call succulent mornings so I'm going to number this that way you get to see uh, which one you've uh, watched and which one uh, you haven't watched Ugh. don't like mornings because um, I just woke up from three hours ago I'm a bit of a night owl that's why my icon is an L. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Okay, so this one's a uh, Graptoveria, lovely rose. This is my very first, first mum. That's the first one which I stripped so she's showing her legs look at that oh legs look at legs okay this one now um, Madiba it's only um, a couple of months old with me but she is looking beautiful and healthy so they tend to curl up more when they get older and this is little snow bunny still tiny so this area are more like my ice queens except for that amestro at the back there okay so just seeing uh, how that amestro would grow okay i'm sort of almost upside down here hang on wait a minute okay my neck my neck there you go um uh see how it would go if it's sort of grown in the shade and then this one is uh snow peach looking very peachy uh, these are all grown in pots with holes hello hello little owl okay now um, this one is snow angel look snow angel little fat it's it looks more like a Monroe as well so but only fatter uh, strictiflora nova that one so there's a strictiflora with sort of a red um, uh, tinge or the edges this one is dark and black so maybe that's why they call it the Nova uh, that one is icy green so these two look kind of looks the same in it so if I put a um, Monroe over there would that look the same too uh, what other beauties have I got or oh, I'll show you the other ones later on now this one is Rose Queen it used to be called Graptoveria Rose Queen. Now the name has been reinstated to be called um, Marpin. So that's supposed to be the original name. So I don't know. They keep changing the names and new Rose Queens come up. So look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's not even in a pretty pot. It's just an ordinary plastic pot. And I just put it in that little mug. Although that mug um, has got a hole as well. And these ones are smaller, so they're the same age, uh, except <laughs> this is actually my mummy. So this is the mummy mapping, and look how small it is now compared to, look, so I'm going to show you that one. So the baby has outgrown the mummy. <laughs> okay, that is gone, leggy, look, but it's got a baby. So that one is a prolific grower and it can handle the frost and the sun. So in the summertime, uh, since it's only a couple of years old uh, with me, it hasn't really shown its full potential. This is the first um, year that actually I've seen the colors, the hot stopping colors. It's like every time I see it, it's sort of really light pink. Okay. Now there's other goodies here. Now that one is lemon lime. Lemon and lime. So Echeveria, lemon and lime. In that pretty pot with little doggy, little doggy. Okay, I'm just going to shake doggy's head. There you go. You agree? Yes, he does. Okay, so this one down here is the mother lemon lime. And it's green because it's also sort of part shaded, even though it's out in the open. Because this one gets afternoon sun from this angle. 
So the, you can see that the lemon and lime, the mother, is being hidden and then the baby up the top there gets the full benefit of the sun. So don't be afraid of the sun, but then don't put newly acquired babies uh, out in the sun because they're going to burn. They need to acclimatize. So during the course of these videos uh, in this channel, you're going to get to see all my secrets. So I'm going to show you how uh, I prepare things because it's quite um, an, a laborious task. Uh, doing all this, uh, but it sort of becomes second nature with me. Every time uh, I need to do something, I just sort of um, know what to do because I've been doing it so many times. That means I've killed so many plants as well in the process. That's why I know. So this one is an Echeveria agavoides ebony, or actually yellow ebony. See, I don't know my plants. Now that one is just ebony so but the two oh they're gorgeous they're beautiful but uh this is a uh, sedum or graptosedum paddy peat also known as some of them call them bronze um um sedum or what is that one the other one vera higgins but it's not they're different ones so this one i got as a label uh, as labeled paddy peat and um what do you call this i haven't had a sip of coffee yet so let me have a sip of coffee first okay look um oh okay now that comic storm comic storm so see um i think grab to see them comic storm look how beautiful that is that is so fat like it's amazing how gorgeous that is. I didn't even think it's going to look that beautiful. So, uh, this one, again, this is an older uh, paddy peat. And look how it goes gangly. So, normally, it's not gangly. You train it, or I train it to be gangly. I strip all the leaves, the back leaves on the stem. So, that way, it exposes the stem and becomes so beautiful. Look at that. So, it's like a bonsai. This is like bonsai uh, succulents. Now this is my one and only Monami. <laughs> my Monami. And um, it's put out a baby. Look, it's a very, very slow grower. So it's some sort of um, Polydonis hybrid, I think, I would say. But um, I tried to grow some leaves of that and it's growing right now, but it just takes ages. So she doesn't want to put out babies. And then this one is, um, I got this as labeled as Minima subsicilis. So, so many um, different plants with different names, with different looks, but also looks the same as other plants. So there's little things that you can sort of tell uh, what they look and everything. Okay, this one. Um, what are you? You are bee's knees. Look, gorgeous, isn't it? Normally that's green. That's just the plant that's green. I've got one growing somewhere in the shade. It's green. So if you grow that in the shade, although the shape is very chrysanthemum-like, it is boring green, but now look, oh, even underneath, look how gorgeous that is. Beautiful. Okay. So all pots have holes. I am going to do a video of how to drill holes on these different ceramic porcelain glass pots, whatever pots I can get hold of that I could make into little pots. Uh, I use as pots or drill holes in it. Although I have some plants over there with no holes or growing in big pots with no holes. So that's another video again. So, are we settled on a name? Succulent uh, walk or succulent mornings? I don't know. What do you think? So, should I call this um, segment succulent, a succulent walk? No. Let's go succulent walk, maybe? No. Succulent talk. Succ no, not succulent talk. Succulent... I don't know. You tell me, but right now I'm going to called this succulent mornings so anyway 
That one is, what are you? Graptoveria Douglas Hut or Hut's Pink. In other countries they call it Hut's Pink. Beautiful. So it's not all like that. Uh, it's only in winter when the color comes out. Normally there's sort of a grayish yellow in summer. And Graptoveria Jewels. I haven't featured jewels but this is like yellow and pink beautiful but uh, I missed taking a video I think I have a video of this but anyway um, a couple of months ago during autumn so I think the start of end of autumn is when it uh, showed all its true colors it's like beautiful colors of the rainbow okay that's it for now and I'll see you tomorrow.